the Spirit. As I pick up the Bible, I do discover the wrath of the Spirit. The translation from the Septuagint, as we read in, the, in, in Psalm, how often they rebelled and grieved him in the desert. The translation is they disobeyed and made angry the Spirit of God. They rebelled and angered his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he turned to be their enemy and himself fought against them. Wouldn't it be terrible to have the Holy Spirit as your enemy? Because you'd angered him. The word grieve means to make very angry. And I would urge every one of you to be very careful, lest you rouse the wrath of the Spirit. My Spirit shall not always strive with man, God said way back in Genesis 6 in the days of Noah. And the Spirit of God ceased striving, and the flood came, and the world was destroyed except for eight people. The Holy Spirit can be lied against in Acts 5, Ananias and Sapphira. Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God, said Peter. They acted a lie. They pretended to be what they were not. They were hypocrites. And they acted out a lie. The Holy Spirit can be tempted how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Many times sinners say, well, if God is God, let him strike me dead. There was a fellow years ago down in Tampa, Florida, where I was, and he stood out there with a watch. And he said, all right. He was an atheist. He said, if God is God, I'm going to give him one minute and let him strike me dead. Nothing happened. And some old brother on the front row said, you cannot exhaust the patience of God in one minute. 